Hi everyone, I'm Grattles and welcome back to a new episode of City Skylines. Today we are going to continue building in our new city and the last time we left off with milestone number four. So we're going to go ahead and put in a cemetery. That's going to be the most important thing we do right now. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, so let's jump in. We're gonna go to medical. And as you can see, this uh, crematorium is unlocked. It should not be. I have some unlock uh, things going on. And let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. So I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna go into options. So I'm gonna go into, do, 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 find it and we hit unlock all and the reason we did that is because i want to start a farming industry with the farming dlc and i can't do that until we get later higher up and i want to do it now so or soon so yeah so that's why i did that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this on three speed and i'm going to upgrade all these roads so let's go ahead and do that so also I have collision toggled and I'm going to turn that off. So this way when I come around this curve here, let me just zoom in and show you here. So when you come around this curve, it's not going to delete these houses. But if I had that where it was highlighted on, it would definitely delete. Now, mind you, if you leave it on, there will be trees on your road. Let me show you. So let's turn it off here and let's upgrade these roads. So when you look now, as you can see, all these trees that were on the map came back and that is because they were never deleted and now they're on the roads. So what we're gonna do is, let's go into the trees. Now I have the forest tree brush. We could also just go into regular trees. It doesn't really matter. We just want to delete all these trees. And to be honest, I think, well, we don't need it that big. I think we're going to delete all the trees in here because we're going to put in our own mix anyway. There we go. And as you can see, it does not delete these little branches from the trees. That will have to do by hand. It's okay though, we're not gonna worry about it right this second, but we are gonna take a look at if there's any of these branches on roads. Like here we got one right here. And that is because of the anarchy too. So we're just gonna delete that and we'll keep an eye out for some of these. So let's go back in. We're gonna grab that new tree brush that I said I had. I'm gonna turn down the strength, but before we do anything, let's turn this back on. And the reason being is because when I put the trees in now, they will not come up on the roads. So let's go ahead and hit the tree brush. And see, no trees on roads. That's what we want. So let's fill this in. All right, there we go. Next, we have a huge demand for residential. We're going to add a couple of roads down in here and behind the high school. And we're gonna probably put in a field for the high school. So let's go ahead and do that. There's one of those branches again. We're gonna just grab that and delete it. Got another one here. They can be pesky, annoying little things, but yeah. Uh, we do have a huge kind of like thing with the train going on here but that's just a city skylines thing we can make it look better but it's fine the way it is we're gonna just stick a rural road probably right about here to there and that's gonna let us put some sports fields in here so let's go into parks let's go down I think we'll grab a baseball field let's go ahead and put that right about there Let's grab a football field, put that there. And as you can see, the terrain does hike up. It's the way this is sitting. Uh, you can do a couple of different things to fix that, or you could just leave it alone. Right now, I think what we'll do is turn the size down for one. Uh, is smooth, 
not do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I have a bad habit of doing that, but yeah. Uh, smooth out the terrain. Here we go. Just a little bit. Or we have another option. We have the move it mod here. You have a multi select here. And you can actually, let's grab, see if we can grab it from here. Let's grab it from here and bring it to this road right here. Now, depending on what height you want, we can go into two object height and we can pick a height. And that kind of flips it a little bit, but it changes all this. Now we can come in and we can kind of smooth this out a little better. And take that down a little bit. And now, as you can see, we do have a huge dip here. Oh, let me get out of that. So we have this nice <laughs> steep hill here. What we could do to fix that is go into our network multi-tool. Go down to here where it's slope. And we're going to click from here to here. And that's quite a big steep slope. But if we continue going down to there, we can hit enter and it kind of lessens that slope. And I think we're going to do the same here. We'll grab here to here, hit enter, and that's much better. But it does look quite a bit better now too. Here looks pretty good, so we're not going to worry about that. And we got a couple of ball fields in. While we were talking, our demands kind of evened out. So right now, I think we will continue to put some more roads in there because we will need them. But I think we're also going to extend this road down and then start thinking about how we want to put in our industry. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, we got pretty good demands for industrial. So that's going to help us out a little bit. Let's go ahead and delete this base game industry here. Let's continue this rural road right here down. There we go. Let's get rid of this zoning. There we go. All right, so let's see. How do we want to place our farm? I want to take a look at this because I want to straighten this out just a bit and smooth this out because this could be a problem when we start putting in our farms. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's hit this a second. I want to show you something. So as you can see here, this just dips down just a bit and I'm not really happy with it. So we're just going to go like that and do the object height thing and go up to there and then smooth this out again. There we go. And that's a little bit better. All right, so we want to start a farming industry. Let's see how we want to place this. I think we're going to delete this little piece right in here. And I think what we will do is we're going to grab a 2U road and let's just see. We're not going to place this, but we do want it to line up. There we go. So now what I think we'll do is we'll take this, we'll just come in by one, we'll come over and come down. Yep, that's good. Let's go into industries and go into farming. We're going to grab the main house and just pop it in there. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do the zoning for it. So we're going to go into industry 
and I'm not going to pay any attention to the yellow which is the fertility for farming because we're gonna place our own a little bit so let's go ahead and come in not sure how large this farm will be but that'll be good let's go into here which is ground resources another really useful mod for adding resources where you want them next I'm gonna set up a couple of rural roads for our workers barracks That looks okay. All right, so let's start placing some fields. I'm gonna go into the industry, and I have some of these extra, extra, extra large fields and stuff like that. These are really nice when you wanna fill a really large area. And let's take a look at them. So as you can see, if the land is off just a little bit, it makes it funky. You could change different colors and the ripe one seems to be the best although it is super bright but it does seem to work the best and it doesn't leave those weird things going on there so now that we have that let's go ahead and put in some more roads and fields and let's delete some more of these branches here so our garbage is nearly full i'm taking a look at it now and we have the incinerator plant, so I'm going to throw in a couple of those. And we're going to start emptying this one. There we go. Before we actually get more into the farm, let's check our electric. It's going to be close. I think we might want to put in... This is an advanced coal power plant right down in here. All right. Let's get back to the farm. Let's add some roads and some more farming. All right, so as you can see, we're starting to run out of money. So what we could do is we could take these little spots here and just make sure that our place is painted with that. Let's zone in that, that's all farming. We could add a little base game and that will help with the demands. All right, that helped with a bit of the demand, but as you can see, we're still having problems with not enough workers, which is kind of crazy because I believe the unemployment is high. So we're gonna just let it run for a little bit longer and we're going to add some things as we get it. Uh, we do have a little bit more money, so we are able to probably add, let's go ahead and add another fruit field here. So what I like to do is I like to actually make this the same amount and make it look like one giant field. Uh, it just looks better. Uh, this greenhouse we could definitely change to like apples. That's pears. We'll make it all apples. There we go. Let's see if we have enough money to buy the last one. We do. And let's put it in. There we go. So our demands are going down, which is great for industry. Let's check out unemployment. We are now really cooking on getting that unemployment down and we just need more money. So let's go ahead and just keep running it on three speed for a little bit and get that money up. All right, so now that we left it run, we are definitely making a little bit more money. Let's go ahead and jump in and put in some processing plants and some storage, because they're definitely gonna need that. Now 
Now we have a huge demand for some more residential. Let's go ahead and address that. Now, as, as you can see, you can see the traffic for the silo. And we also have this entrance to the farm here. And it can get a little bit chaotic, but it should should be okay. But anyway, over here is a little bit better of an option because we don't have the entrance to this farm over there. So, but it clears up, it's not too bad. I wouldn't worry too much if it becomes a problem. Try to put it on a place where you don't have any entrances or exits on the other side or close by. Like we could even take this silo and relocate it to this side right here. There's nothing going on over here. All the farms are facing on the, this road or this road. So we're good. So let's go ahead and see about placing some animals. And mm, where do we want to put those? I think somewhere over in here. That's looking pretty good. So I think we're going to end this episode off here. We did quite a bit. Um, I think next time we're going to try to figure out a new residential space, bringing these roads down and through. Don't know where we're going to end up with them, but we'll see. And we will probably continue to kind of clean up these areas, fill them in a little nicer. And yeah, we'll see where we go from there. I would love suggestions. Put some uh, comments uh, below and I'll address them and give me some ideas for where we want to go next. All right. With that being said, I'm Grattles. And if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment and share. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.